Okay, it's six o'clock. We'll call the meeting to order, and I'll ask uh, Taryn if she would please give an invitation. Let's fire here. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we ask that you be with us as we have the meeting that we have before us. Lord, be with us. And Lord, as we leave this place, we ask that you be with us as we travel back home to our families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Karen. That's not coming to a token of our All right, so thank you. First order of business uh, is reading the approval of the previous meeting minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand, please. Thank you. We have uh, no old business and no in the new business. Uh, we have two items. We'll first have RZ190195. And Wes, if you would give us the Run down on that and the recommendation, please. I will. This is RZ 21-190195, and the Commission District is East. Uh, that is uh, Becky Denny. Uh, we have the applicant is Dale D. Cummings of 5618 Highway 52, Dawsonville, Georgia 30534. Uh, the agent, uh, there is none, excuse me. The location is Steve Tate Highway in Marlville, Georgia 30148. The request is rezoning from rural residential to neighborhood commercial. The parcel ID is 047005. The proposed use is resale of the property. The current land use is undeveloped single family. The character area is Bed Tree and Big Canoe area. Uh, the lot size was 2.0 acres. Uh, the access is Steve Tate Highway. The zoning history is the subject property is currently zoned rural residential according to the official zoning map. As you can see the uh, adjacent uh, properties that are in there and their classifications. Uh, the applicant requests to rezone a total of 2.0 acres at Steve Tate Highway from rural residential to neighborhood commercial. The applicant is requesting this in order to offer the property for resale. And if you'll go all the way to page three and on to four, I will um, say that uh, both neighborhood commercial and highway business zoning districts are appropriate for this character area according to the comprehensive plan. If approval is granted, it should be granted under the uh, neighborhood commercial zoning district if the applicant is amendable to the change in zoning. Uh, the staff recommendation is that uh, the staff recommends approval of the neighborhood commercial request as the comprehensive plan does provide for this zoning, either neighborhood commercial or highway business within this character area. And the additional comments are, in addition to this memo, I hereby incorporate the entirety of my office's file and video recording of the Planning Commission's hearing, including but not limited to all witnesses, their testimony in order to let this information be made part of the record and shall be available to the Board of Commissioners for review. Thank you. Are there any Thank other you. questions on this one? Thank you, Wes. Uh, I, I should have mentioned, it's obvious, but I'll mention it anyway, that this is a public hearing on this particular request. Is Mr. Dale Cummings here? Yes, sir. I'm present. Okay. Do you have anything to add to what's been said? The, the only thing would be is that uh, when I first bought it in 2003 or four, it was residential. I then rezoned it commercial and it had lied like that for many years. And then uh, we had quite a recession, and I had to refinance it and only could get a residential mortgage. And now I would like to have it back commercial, neighborhood commercial, sent no agenda, 
no idea as to what to do with the neighborhood other than to add another arrow to the quiver of buyers. And that's it. Okay. Are there any questions for, for Dale before we hear? We have one person to speak for. Uh, yes. Uh, you said that you, you have a, a contract that depends on getting it rezoned. Yesterday, I thought I did. But Doug Hosner mentioned to me that that gentleman had found a job in another state, so that went the way of the dodo bird. Okay. Um, I'd like to know what type of business is planning on going there. Was I have no idea. No idea. Just would like to rezone it. Neighborhood commercial, like all the rest of the areas surrounding. Further questions for Mr. Cummings? Okay, we have uh, Randy. I'm sorry, I, could, I can't read your last name. Uh, Mickey, like him, I said you are. Okay. My name's Randy Mickey, and I'm the property adjacent to uh, the shopping center there, Broadway Station. And uh, Mr. Cummings is a good neighbor. But also, because of what's occurred in the last 18 months or more in that area, the activity there is far higher now. And uh, some more commercial activity would be welcome. I know from the people I know with a big, uh, big canoe, certainly there are any number of, I'm approached about different things, which I don't really have room or space or appropriate structure for that. But obviously, there's a need and a desire to have additional commercial activity there. So I think you'd have a number of choices and be good to attack those. So, so uh, Randy, you own the you own the shopping center yes, that's sir. existing. Okay, yes. I understand. So you would hope that the character of that uh, would I think it'd be more in keeping with what's there. Yeah, yes. yes, sir. But I'll probably be contiguous. Yeah. Are you a potential buyer? No, uh, I've got the property I have is something special. The one that uh, was developed by someone who. They come into a lot of money and did something special there, and I'm happy with it right now. Yeah, um, however, I know people would have an interest in the property. I know other other individuals as investors who would be interested in the property. Yes. Well, the person who developed the property that you own did a nice job with it. Beautiful. It's, I thank you, sir. <laughs> it's uh, remarkable. Yeah. Remarkable. Okay. Any questions? Any further questions? Do I have a motion? I'll move. We approve as it's uh, presented. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, please raise your right hand. Approved. All right. We'll now move into uh, another public hearing. We'll close that hearing and start a public hearing on RZ190196. West. Yes, this is a uh, RZ-21-190196, Commission District of East, and that's uh, Commissioner Becky Denny. The applicant again is Dale D. Cummings, 5618 Highway 52, Dawsonville, Georgia, 30534. Uh, the location is 3890 Steve Tate Highway, Marble Hill, Georgia, 30148. The request is rezoning from rural residential to neighborhood commercial the parcel is 047-004. The proposed use is resale of the property. The current land use is developed single family. The character area is Bent Tree, Beacon New Area. The lot size is 1.7 acres. The road access is Steve Tate Highway. And the subject property is currently zoned rural residential according to the official zoning map. A review of the zoning records indicates that the property was previously zoned highway business and was rezoned rural residential on or about February 12, 2013. As you see, the current zoning and land uses around it, all of it is uh, uh, the various uh, commercial, from neighborhood commercial to highway business. The, uh, the south is rural residential, undeveloped single family residential. Um, 
the applicant requests to rezone the total of 1.70 acres at 3890 Steve Tate Highway from rural residential to neighborhood commercial, and the applicant is requesting this in order to offer the property for resale. We'll go on down to page four. If you have any questions in the middle, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, but this, uh, both neighborhood commercial and highway business zoning districts are appropriate for this character area according to the comprehensive plan. If an approval is granted, it should be granted under the neighborhood commercial zoning district if the applicant is amendable to the change in zoning. Um, the staff uh, recommends approval of the neighborhood commercial request as the comprehensive plan does provide for this zoning neighborhood commercial highway business within this character area. However, there would be a restriction that the home located on the parcel cannot be used as a single family residence. Uh, in addition to this memo, I hereby incorporate the entirety of my office's file and the video recording of the Planning Commission's hearing, including and not limited to all witness te testimony, in order that this information be made a part of the record and shall be available for the board of commissioners to review. Do I have any other questions? Thank you, Mike. Mr. Cummings, would you have anything to add? Sir? Would you have anything to add? Well, it's a little bit of a conundrum there. Let me repeat what the gentleman said. Yes, sir? Uh, the recommendation is to go ahead and have it uh, zone neighborhood commercial. Yes, sir. Accepting that you would prefer that a single family buyer, residential. When you purchased it, it was highway business, okay? And it was a family, oh, single I family heard. business. So that was allowed because the zoning changed in 2005, okay? That was by selection. There was no zoning prior to that. In that case, it stayed as a single family residence, but when you, when you changed it to rural residential, you cannot go back to highway business and have a single family dwelling. So when I first purchased it, it was? Highway business. Uh, it was residential. No, sir. Then how was I able to, then I had to, I had to appear before your board to get no, it? No, sir. That was because it was grandfathered in. There was no zoning prior. They presented zoning and people would pick their zoning. And when it was picked, it, 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 prior to when you purchased it, it was zoned as highway business. And you purchased it, it was highway business. You had it rezoned to residential. I personally did the zoning research and I went to the, the assessor's office and checked anything that I could to find out because it's vague because they changed the zoning arbitrarily. So in 2013, because the year you escaped me, I changed it to convert, I changed it back to residential? It never was residential. Well, if it was, it was prior to zoning in this county. Yes, sir. Okay. Huh? That's correct. Oh, I'm not questioning it. I'm just a little awed by right. See, the other one was the not, nuances. The other one was not zoned commercial. It was zoned rural residential. I knew that. that. Okay. Sure. Okay. But as a change in zoning, you cannot have a single family residential property occupied by a single family in a highway business or neighborhood commercial area. Gotcha. Okay. You can have a business. There's a restaurant across the street that's in a house. But you cannot have a home with residential um, tenants. And that house right now is zoned once again? It is rural residential. Huh. If you have to get rid of the So, Mr. Cummings, do you have anything to add? No, I was just a little confused. <laughs> it is so, confusing. I yeah. can understand. It was confusing to me. I'm a little in shock, I guess. So. <laughs> well, I thought but your goal was to... It is, and I'd like to proceed with the gentleman's... Uh, I, I beg your pardon, your name? Wes 
Prague. That's right, West I met you. Before. Yes, sir. I was just as shocked. <laughs> so I would like to follow. Let me go ahead and reread that recommendation if you would like. Yes, sir. The yes, sir. recommendation uh, is that the staff uh, uh, recommends approval for the neighborhood commercial request as the comprehensive plan does provide for neighborhood commercial or highway business within this character area. However, there would be a restriction that the home located on the parcel cannot be used as a single family residence. It makes sense to me. I just, the however got me. Yes, sir. Uh, I was thinking, like I said, that it would lay it open to extra buyers, but no, I'm here to have a commercial. Yes, sir. And we need to follow what it says. Okay. I'm sorry for the... No, no, I would be the word I'm looking is, for. It is very confusing here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just one of those uh, uh, conditions that you don't understand is bound on today's standards, not when you purchased the property. I got you. Okay. So, so, yes, sir. So, as I'm speaking, I'm making up as I go along. Once it's commercial, I have no right to get a residential buyer in there. Yeah. All right. A yeah. slight shock, but I'd like to proceed with your recommendation. It's my failure to think it all out. I'm right there with you, and I'd like to proceed. So do you, do you have a tenant in that in the no, property? No, 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 sir. That was a, so you don't have to kick anybody out. No, not at all. No, sir. Yeah. Sure not. Well, it would seem to me that that the combined properties makes acreage are of greater value than individually. I agree 100%. No question. Are there questions for Mr. Cummings? <clears throat> Do you anticipate combining <coughs> into one piece of property? I would prefer to have a single buyer who has a purpose for it rather than to split them up. I think that the whole is greater than the, uh, than the parts. Randy, you have uh, No, not really. I think uh, having one contiguous property is probably the Mr. Cummings' best interest. So, Mr. Cummings, what do you hope the value per acre is of that land? What would you like to acquire, have someone acquire from you? I uh, talked to Doug Hosmer about it, and I think we have a value of 75000 listed for the two-acre track i.e. roughly 37,500 per acre. We have for the house, sitting on, I thought it was 1.74, I think I had a survey somewhere about 1.74, but we'll run with 1.7. We have a listing price of that at 595. And we know from the sales down the street, that's more than adequate. Well, it, must shame, a, it must be a nice house. Well, it's getting nicer every day, including today, but I'm sure putting a lot of money into it. And I'm having to work for the okay. money to put it in. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful home, and it's a great area. A lot of outbuildings on it. Upkeep is, I've kept in great shape. I'm proud of it. But after 18 years, I'm tired. Okay. So you, you, you're in full support of the recommendation? 100%. Just got a little mentally sidetracked. Further discussion? I've got a question. What kind of septic service is on that that piece there, the last one we're talking about with the house? Um, there is septic, but then there's city water on it. Okay. But um, it's not sewer. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. That's being worth, uh, there's a contract being negotiated right now to sue around that work. I think it's not right, it's not going to right now. I would just, because uh, at 1.7, if someone were to come along and buy the house, you technically don't have enough property to split it in half to, under its current configuration. No, and there goes the value of adding the two to the 1.7. Right, okay. And thanks for the, uh, the thought. Yeah. I, 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 I was so focused on fixing it up and cleaning it, I hadn't really thought about that part. Adds more import to, as the lady was saying, put it together for 3.7 acres. And it has city water. 
Accepted as set forth by the Planning and Development Office. Is there a second? Second. And we have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Motion approved. Thank you, Mr. Cummings. No, I thank you, gentlemen, for your attention to detail. I appreciate it. What is the speed limit on that highway? <laughs> I am so confused. About 105. <laughs> Before the roundabout, they slow down to 80 in the roundabout. <laughs> well, is it 55 since it's a state road? No, no sir. I think, it's, I think it's 45. Well, and it goes down to 35 as you approach the right. Right. roundabout. Yes. People don't pay attention to it. Would you believe it? I told you that cross ties were actually out in that road for Big Canoe, right in the center as a medium of splitting, and I hit it one night, and I, I was in shock. And I asked Big Canoe to move it, and after a terrible accident, they finally did. But I thought that uh, basically, I thought it was around 55, but it, it's 45 to 35. Thank you, folks. All right, are there any further board comments? Public comments, any further public comments? Is there a motion to adjourn? Mm -hmm. Move, second. Second. All in favor, aye. aye. aye.